All right, y'all, so y'all read the title. Y'all already know what time it is. We're back at it again with another gun show out here in the Philadelphia Expo Center. And as you see, the line going crazy for this gun show is about to open up. And yeah, yeah, definitely the place to be. And I told y'all, this one's gonna go crazy. This one's definitely gonna go crazy. We got Black Rambo here. We got Jay to shoot. I yeah, we definitely going crazy today. Anyways, about to head in there before everything else gets took. Cause I mean, look at the line going crazy. 1500 tables going crazy. So we got in here a little bit early, but everybody's been start to, you know, pile in. So let's go over here and Try to pick these tables out before everybody comes in. We got that boy Black hey, Rambo on the cut. Right here, man. You, see. Thing, man. Yeah. you see him, you see him. This looks like a good place to start out. First, uh, first one of the day. The price is kind of hiding. First one of the day, 41. Oh, we're gonna start high. Ooh, the LWRC. Got the scar. What's this, a 17? Scar 7, oh uh, yes, yeah, Scar 17S. 308. Then we got a Scar pistol. Y'all let me know. Either I'm gonna grab one of these or I'm gonna use one of these for a giveaway because that thing just looks so tough. And I got it in black. Let me know, black or FDE? I think FDE. Because that just says Scar right there. Ooh, is that a Sugar Weasel? Yep, Sugar Weasel, 556. Five, and like I said in the other videos, y'all let me know what y'all think is giveaway worthy because I mean, the amount of pressure that's in here is ridiculous. We got a P90, PS90. This long range, 6.5 Pre-Mark competition. Ooh, oh, that's a heavy gun. That's a really heavy gun. Ruger 338 Lapua. Ooh, an original HK91. Oh, they know what they got there. You got a Norinko. Old kid. Where they find this stuff at? One's used. That is sick right there. Got a sponge. As of now, that is probably the most common correct 103 in the US. That is easily accessible in the country. Sheesh. Big pressure. They're going to This is it's a pre band that is crazy. I've seen this at one of the premier gun shows. Craziest things at gun shows. That's top fed. Oh, hey, look at the dust on that. Oh, action. So you're gonna feel every bit of that. Got a Honey Badger SBR right here. Hey, you got the Daniel Defense. Daniel Defense SBR. Right next to each other. And then we got the Scar Pistol. That is crazy. Three more contract over on. Sheesh. Okay. This is the one I was looking for. And that's the man with the plan. What's going on, bro? What's up, bro? Hey, so I wanted you to tell me a little bit more about this, because I see that comp on there, and it looks a little bit like a Legion, so I need you to tell me a little bit more about this one. All right, so this is the P320AXG Legion. So basically, the P320AXGs were steel frame guns, but they just had regular, you know, regular slides on them, so they were a lot like 
for some regular blue jeans. Do I have one? I think I got one on the table right now. But it's regular. So, yeah. So it would be like this, but in the P320. Mm -hmm. Actually, a lot more like that. So okay. instead of having the tungsten infused frame, they had the they had the steel frame with a with a regular slide, and then with this one is a mix over between a AXG, a Legion, and a Spectre comp. So it's basically three guns all mixed together in one. That is crazy. And that comes with three 21 round mags with it as well. Optics ready, man. This is everything you need. This one feels really good in the hand, though. Have you shot one of these yet? I've not shot that one yet. I've shot a Spectre comp. Uh -huh. So I imagine it's going to be a lot similar. It's going to be very similar. It yeah. might be a little better because it's got two chunk cuts uh -huh. taken out of the top, so it might have a little bit less recoil. And if you shot a Spectre comp, it's like cheating, essentially. It's like yeah. a video game yeah. where there's no recoil. <laughs> y'all see it. And this is the only one y'all have? That is the only one that I have. I checked Ooh. today. Yeah, that is the last one I got. Tiny blocks. That's what people are buying now. That is crazy. And this is from Factory or this is from like a company? It's from... It's a tallow edition, so it's uh, basically if you ever see like any of the pretty colored ones, okay, they come, Lock sends them out secondhand, and then they do that. I got you. But it's actually very well done. It's not that expensive either. So it's just polished, basically. If I had to guess, yes. Okay. High polish on the side, no polish on the top. Well, that'd be smart because I'll put, I'll protect you from you know sun glare and stuff like that. So it's gonna help you pick up your sights a lot better. So you're not gonna have to worry about glare on top of the slide. Mm-hmm. Well, SIG is really doing their thing. They are really doing their thing. And you cannot go wrong with these legions. Ta da! Nope. That's not it. It was crazy, is I still don't have a legion. Okay, so this is crazy right here. This is why I think should be comped. This is a Smith & Wesson, Smith & Wesson Performance Center with a comp. MNP 10 mil, got a comp built, barrels comped, slides comped. It's got night sights on it from the factory, optics cut, and it comes with three magazines, or two magazines, 15 uh -huh. rounds, and they finally got rid of those terrible triggers the MNP's had. So it's Ooh. actually not bad. Hey, let me see the reset on that. Yeah, let's see that reset. Not bad, not yeah. bad, not bad. Not bad that's, that's nice, 10 millimeter. Oh, I would like to shoot. Oh, that feels good. I would like to shoot that one. Man, I like what Smith & Wesson is doing with their 5.7, with steel frame guns. They're I really finally, like what they're doing. They're finally finding their little groove and sticking to it. Yeah, definitely. This is got a rail at the bottom, optics red. Man, this is the whole package right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you know if they come with models without the thumb safety or all of them have it? See, I've not done too much research on that because I literally saw those things on the crazy. internet like two days ago on their website so yeah. I just saw that we had gotten one I didn't even know we had ordered it and this is their 5.7 yep that's oh. one without the thumb safety and then we got the one right beside it over there with it. this? Oh, no, right there. oh okay so it's got the thumb safety mm -hmm. that one doesn't man these are have you ever shot one of these? I've not super smooth shooting guns like this thing is so flat I compared it I did a comparison with the FN with the Palmetto and the Ruger okay that video go crazy. Man, I like Smith. I like what they're doing. Yep. Yep. And then we got the uh, 350 Legend Revolver as well. Oh, I seen that one. Yes. So they had a comp on the front. I didn't know they took. Ooh, uh, yeah, the one I seen didn't have that. 350 Legend Revolver. That's crazy. Oh, and I got a 10 mil hyper. <laughs> you gotta throw that one in. We got that solely just for the mains. Just the mains. <laughs> Where's it at? Right here. There you go. This big old brick of a gun. Hey, but 10 mil, I mean, high points warranty, you really can't beat it. Yeah. No questions asked, send it back. Oh, it's got a magazine disconnected in it. Yeah, it got all the safeties in the world in that one. Yeah, right, Charger right. Ruger. I know somebody who love these Ruger Chargers. They just, I don't know. It's a new 5.7 one. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really jump in. Look at it. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Yes, sir. Man, this is crazy, though. This is crazy. I don't know. I mean, if you're going to get the pistol, you might as well grab this, too. Right, SBR that, because. Oh, it'd be great. This yeah. Be the MP7. That still frame Smith that I was telling you guys about. Yeah, Smith & Wesson, they're definitely coming back up. Definitely coming back up. Equalizer. 
I gotta do a comparison with this versus the easy Foreman Center. Got some 1911s. Got the prodigies. Those kind of got left in the, you know, left in the past. All the problems they were having, but mine never experienced any problem with the four and a quarter. Yep, four and a quarter. So this one right here, I don't think had any problems with that. And I think that's the big five inch right there. But the grip on these is amazing. Like I said before, well, in my last videos, I like this grip better than I like the one that comes stock on my Staccato XC. So take it for what it is. It just feels better in the hand, honestly. There's it. Prodigies, if you want to jump into the 2011 scene. Got it here, FN545. What is this, 18 plus one? Yeah, so it comes with a 15 and an 18. Yeah, 18 plus one. A 45 ACP. So not 18 of nine millimeters, this is 45 ACP. Everybody seems like they're stepping up their game. What is this, that That's Taurus Tactical? Yep, G3 Tactical. A lot of people have been telling me to review this one. Optics ready, suppressor right tight, started barrel. I just don't like the black on black sights. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. A yeah. lot of manufacturers do that though. When they I like the blacked out rear sights, but I would prefer like a fiber optic or something with color up front. Yeah. Suppressor ready. But it's a decent gun. Buy me for what you're paying. Some people forgot about the Rock Island double stack 10 millimeter. Yeah, that one's heavy. Yeah, I know. I feel like a brick. Metro Arms, I got one of these in 10 millimeter. Really? Yeah. Hard chrome gun. It's actually a really good gun. It's nice. All right, so what we got here? We got a 1978 Austrian Glock knife, first generation. Mm -hmm. And the first generation 1977 Glock unfired in the box. That is ridiculous. The original box, come on now. That is ridiculous. What is that? Navy shotgun, that is crazy. Yeah, that's beautiful right there. Are you taking pictures of my gun? Oh, again, again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. I know. I know. He's wearing the Eagle Arms production hat. There it is. So I guess I gotta be nice. <laughs> you don't have to be nice. Yeah. Got this beast right here. Ooh, wee. Next to that. What is this? Oh, that's one of them detachable barrels, compact guns. Next to that day of the fans, DDM4 V7 Pro. We got a, got a cow block. That's, yeah, that's something right there. We got a Draco 1049. We got a CZ Scorpion. And then we got a Sentry Arms. Uh, what's that, a Mini Draco? Mini Draco. Then we got a Super Tactical Shockwave with the shell holders on the side. 600, heat shell. That one look cold though, I like this one. These are some dope little pistols right here, 550. Oh, this one look cold. The FDE, I think that's a Glock mag. Nine millimeter. 300 blackout. This big old shotgun. 12k, only 500. Check it out. I just kicked the shit out of my tigers and spit. Phillies AR. Man, this looks cold. I like that, man. That's cool. Yes, sir. The scar, I think this is a 17. Yes. Then we got some AP5 by Century Arms. All the way down to the K. Got an SP5 with the bag with it. Two mags. It's not a bad package right there. 
Here we got a little rose gold ARP. That's not bad. Not a bad look. It's just, it's just them boys right there. I told y'all it's Desert Eagle and Scar Day today. Scar 20. Springfield, St. Victor, 308. Diamondback, 308. That's standard manufacturer. SP12. Really heavy duty shotgun. I like that as a pump. We got a Scar 20 in all black. I don't know if this is a non reciprocating. I think this is a non reciprocating charging handle. 308. So 5.7 TMNG Banshees, I think. Yep, Banshee 5.7. Let me see what they looking for on that one. 15. That's what I need right there. That is what I need. We got a CZ. This must be a Desert Eagle Day. Another 58E and a 357 Magnum. That one is 25. That one is 24. Then you got their 24 karat gold plated. Four grand for that gold AK. Got us a real tactical looking Visca. Got the rail up top. Angle grip. Not bad. Pistol grip shotgun with the chainsaw grip. Got that HK Mark 23. Got a Prodigy. Six are legion. Then we got our historical firearms over here. Ooh, look at that. That thing is tight. Look at it compared to my finger. Is tiny. Got some Desert Eagles. That's not bad for a Desert Eagle 44 Mad. 357. And that is a 58E. I think they got a 500. Yeah, 500 Magnum. Oh, this is like the, the big war table. 44 Mad. A whole bunch of big boy caliber. I'm doing well. How you doing? And we got the scar with the camo. Another scar was at the. Scar 17. Got the Zestava. Z Pat. Really tough AK. Got both an SB5 and an SB5K on the same table. Are these new or are these used? Okay. Okay. I see that. We got some Chris Vectors. Little white camo Chris Vector. Pistols. This one definitely caught my eye. Just to stock on that. I wonder if that'd be comfortable. Got that Smith and Wesson shotgun here. 1099. How you doing? Doing well, how are you doing? <coughs> I don't know. Y'all let me know if I should review this one. What is this? That looks weird. Yeah, it's 90. I think this is the one, I mean P50. This is the one with the stock on it. It just looks, I don't know. That just looks kind of weird for me. Old schools. 25 for that. 2000 for that. We got a Desert Eagle. Got some shotguns. That's a beauty, eh? One day somebody's gonna come for this. Hell fed 30 out six. 
Ooh, that might be me. It's not a bad price. There it is, there it is, there it is. Finally, some B and T's. All at one table. Up. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> we got this bad boy right here. We got an AUG. Yeah, this is like my double barrel Ruger 1022 that got both guns kind of stuck together. Like a little Gatling gun. Oh, that look crazy. 22 long rifle. Go crazy. Mechanic rival, I'm doing well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As you see, we got a plethora of Glocks. We got an FNX 45 hammer fire right next to that FN 545. I'm taking this one all day. 18 plus one. That one is crazy. FN 510, FN 57. FN everywhere, FN 509. FN reflex. Oh, it's tiny. I'm looking for the tunnel right now. Got a CZ brand right here. This is a big ass uh, M17. CZ Scorpion, a rifle. Got a pistol, star pistol. So we got an AUG right there. Got an H. 22. 22 long rifle, 500. Got one crossed out 15. So they might have marked this one down. IWI Galil, this one is chambered in 5.56. Five, five, that one is. Got another one. 18, this must be chambered in, I think this is, no, this is probably 5.56 five, too. Yep, 5.56. Five, five, we got the pistols. Castrated, obviously, but nonetheless. Then we got our Daniel defenses. No, I gotta stop at that one. PTR. Uh, one is chambered in 7.62 by 39. At least like at least that's what the mag looked like. Yep, 7.62 by 39. And we got a Tommy gun in that army green. A star on there. Then your basic black one. This is the army green one. And that's the black one. Slight price difference. We got some Mossberg shockwave. I mean shotguns. Foldable stock. That feels light. That is like super light. Doesn't even feel like a real gun. 270. We got this bad boy right here. <laughs> Thousand bucks. We got a, I think this is a Panzer. I don't know what it is, but it's an M4 clone. M4 tactical clone. Let's see what they're asking for. Five. Well, that's a big difference. Heavy duty guns right here. Look at that. Oh, that thing is crazy. So these are all built. I'm pretty sure they're built, so I'm not 100%. Y'all, so we got another YouTuber here. Go ahead and shout yourself out, bro. What's up, everybody? It's the big homie, the armchair operator, coming yes. through with my man, Life with Obi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so we have a dilemma right now. So we're going through 
probably something that a lot of people's going through the FN 545 versus the FNX Tactical. Now, what are your thoughts about those two? I haven't shot the 545 yet, uh -huh. but just eyeballing it right now, I think it's going to come down to preference on the trigger. Okay. They're similar ergonomics. Of course, they both shoot the 45 ACP. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I'm going to put those two head to head go through the bullet points so that way you all can make a decision as to which one suits you the best and you're going to do a review on your channel right i want to do a review on both of them i'm going to do a review on the 545 okay I'm gonna do a review on the fnx and then i'm going to do a versus between the two okay so you got a lot you got a lot going on you got a lot going on okay sneak peek just feel wise which one do you think feels better in the hand so i'm used to this one uh -huh. I like the fact, because I got larger hands, you can get a good purchase on it, yeah. and I like the suppressor height sights on this. These are the Trichicon suppressor height sights, in case okay. everybody was wondering here. Now, that versus, say, something like, uh, let me see, something like this in the hand. So, I can kind of tell you right now, I like the sights on the FNX 45 Tactical a little bit better, uh -huh. mainly because you got... You got more glow back here with the two sights in the back. Oh, uh, yeah, Which yeah, is yeah, important, yeah. especially at night, low light or whatever the case may be. Yeah. But this still feels good in hand, so it's going to be real interesting to see how the two performs on the range. That's Muzzle true. Flip, so would you, would you keep this um, with iron sights or are you going to put an optic on it? I'm going to keep it both with iron sights right now. Okay. So with iron sights, I like this one because just because it got the, you know, the, that little protector on the outside. Just in case you want to rack it on like a table or something like that, guys. Those protecting the rear sight. So, for me, I would, I would prefer this one over, okay. over that one. Yeah. But I'm eager to see your review because I, I mean, I haven't shot that one. I shot, no, I haven't shot the 545 either. I shot the 510. Whatever. So we I'll do that, bro. We gotta do that. Oh, I, I mean, it, we gotta do that then, it's man. like a match right there. Yeah. Honestly, you yeah, haven't shot neither one of those. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned. Y'all look forward for that. You have to look forward for that. FN 545 versus FNX Tactical. Y'all look out for that review.